Area police say they've now identified the badly decomposed body found near East 9th and Ash Streets and have also made an arrest in the case. Police say the victim is 21-year-old Jaquan Burroughs, 20-year-old Ty Jamon Crosby is facing a number of charges tonight, including criminal homicide. Matt Mathias is live at the corner of East 9th and Ash Streets where that body was found. And Matt, how did police put together all the pieces in this investigation? That's right, Sean and Jen. If you take a look behind me here, right where the wooden fence converges with the chain link fence, that's where the body of Burroughs was discovered. On the other side of things, the criminal complaint filed against Crosby indicates that he came to police at their headquarters on July 27th, at which point investigators say Crosby put himself at the scene of the crime. Crosby is accused of firing two 9mm bullets at Burroughs on July 22nd, one bullet striking Burroughs in the chest. Police say one bullet was recovered from the body along with a spent shell in the vicinity of the shooting. After being shot, the victim reportedly stumbled from a bicycle he was on at the time and ran across Ash Street, where he hurled a chain link fence and fell onto the ground behind an abandoned residence. Burroughs was discovered by family members on August 2nd. The criminal complaint adds that along with testimony provided by Crosby on the 27th, he was positively identified as the shooter from multiple surveillance footage, footage images. That footage allegedly shows Crosby approach Burroughs, raise his arm, and Burroughs falls off of his bike. Crosby then takes off from the scene. Footage of Crosby was captured in the 300, 400, and 500 blocks of East 9th Street. Erie Police Department shot spotter technology also captured the audio of two gunshots being fired, found to be in the same area as the shooting. Now Crosby is currently at this time being held in the Erie County Prison where he is denied of Bail. Again, EPD are the ones that are identifying the victim as Burroughs. Erie County Coroner Lau Cook has not done so at this time.